I'm joined by head beach volleyball coach Maritz Maritz after a 2-0 day for the Gamecocks, starting out the morning with a win over Mercer, but we'll talk first about the win over number 11 Grand Canyon. Coach, you had to pull it out there with your lower pairs, but they got the job done today. They did. You know, everybody really grinded, and, and um, we wanted this one. We really wanted to uh, to kind of get this one back. We, we played them last year um, and didn't quite come out in the way that we wanted to and so we, we even though we have a kind of a fresh group it was good to to come out with this kind of energy and intensity today and you got some contributions from your lower pairs the fours and fives got the team started especially the fours with uh, Macy Tendrich and Shannon Williams against GCU we're able to come back and win in three do you think that got the team on the right foot to be able to win at the twos and fours right away Absolutely. And and the neat thing about that was that it was a battle the entire way. But I don't think that we ever lost confidence. I think there was, we played with a lot of composure and a lot of steadiness, which we absolutely needed to do to compete against a team of that caliber. And we look over to the, the clinching win came from your fives pair. And I know you weren't sitting on their court, but it was a big first game comeback. I think they were down about 7-2, 6-2 early on, but they were able to come back with Frankie Harrison and Jade Vitt. They just seemed to keep overachieving I guess how would you kind of describe their performance today fantastic you know I was able to watch and you know they're kind of sneaky good in that way I think it's almost for them it's not even overachieving it's just rising to the potential of what they're capable of doing and, and they did that tonight and the neat thing is for them they get they, they can continue to elevate that level and first weekend down in St. Augustine, you relied a lot on your ones, twos, and threes. Today was pretty much a full team effort as your ones went 0 for 2, but really competitive matches there at the top. So talk about the team's confidence level, knowing that they can rely on each other one through five to kind of get the job done. Well, it speaks to the commitment of this team. It speaks to the depth of this team. It speaks to the culture of this team. I mean, these girls are really rallying around each other, and it's huge. It's huge for the way that we want to continue to have and, and project into the season that we are we're creating now. And we'll wrap by, by looking ahead to tomorrow. Two matches, got UAB and then Jacksonville. Got some rough weather in the forecast, and I know you don't want to think about it until it's actually here, but how are you kind of getting the team back from a couple of emotional highs this morning and this afternoon to get back for tomorrow? That's it. I mean, it, right now, the, the two games that we had today, uh, they're in the past. Now we have to start preparing for our next opponent, um, and we won't worry about anybody else uh, except for that opponent. So UAB is first up. We'll, we'll come out tomorrow with energy and intensity and really focus on taking care of business there.